What's up everybody and welcome to Bricks and Toys. My name is Brandon and you are watching one of the most inexperienced Lego YouTube channels in all of YouTube. And if you clicked on to today's video, then you are a masochist because you have tuned into a video to where we are killing the Lego City, which is right behind me. I cannot believe we are going to do it. This has come as a surprise to me, even though I wrote the book and I wrote the plan on redoing this correctly. One of the most infuriating things about this whole scenario is everybody says, if you're going to do a Lego city, start on an Ikea table. But if you're going to do a Lego city, the big do there, make your own tables. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to stick to Ikea, and I'm just going to put an Ikea here, an Ikea here, an Ikea there, an Ikea there, put a couple Ikeas back there, and you know what? We're going to Ikea the shiznit out of it. It'll be mint. But then, if you guys watch all the videos, you guys will see I had a problem in the Lego City of it doing the wave. So what I ended up doing is securing all the Ikea tables along the side, and then putting in a securing board up here, which dusted out the entire Lego studio when all the Lego sets were in here, trying to make it better. But then what do I do? We find out about the Avengers Tower and the Natural History Museum. So what, so what does that mean? I have to push it down 10 inches. So, then, so now I have a board hanging off the edge over here. So the lighthouse is now leaning off of the table because of a jerry rig that I had to do. So that's why we're doing this project is because all I'm ever going to do is just throw another dollar at it, another dollar, you know, just a couple more dollars in wood and we can make it work. And it, you know, you need to know when to shoot the horse. And we're shooting this horse right now, just pow. No more Ikea tables from now on, hand-built wooden tables only. I want to tell you two things right now. Number one, if you enjoy Lego content, hit the subscribe button. I'm always doing some crazy stuff. And that leads me to number two. If you stick around towards the end of this video, I'm going to throw a pickaxe through one of these tables. Because the internet loves destruction, and I want to destroy something. So we can team up together, and we can resolve that. But for right now... What I'm going to do is I'm going to put you guys on a time lapse and I'm going to take this Lego city apart in front of you all. That means the trains, the cars, the trees, everything we worked an entire year on. The birthday of the Lego city is March 14th. So for the Lego city's birthday, it's going to be done right. Well, a little bit before, but you guys get the point. We, this is all the stuff we have done from March 14th to today. And by the time this video comes out, it's going to be mid-February, so 11 months. Do you know what I did in 11 months one time? Besides build a Lego city, I met a woman and got married. I moved fast. <laughs> and just like I, with that, I did all of this. Enough off-topic rambling. Let's go ahead and let's go to a time-lapse of moving this thing out. I am gonna take some of the tables apart, prepare them to be put inside the house so I can have a surface to like put my stuff on. Other than that, I'm just going to leave it all together and just destroy it, I guess. But I do wanna keep a couple Ikea tables for projects around the house and the legs screw off. Okay, so I wanted to take a little stop and show you guys why we are doing this. I have pulled out all the street signs, the street lamps. Hell, I even found a street lamp that I didn't update back in December. 
all the minifigs, everything is gutted. Now I want to show you guys the ugly side of the town of why not and why we have to do this project. So let's flip you around. Flippy, there we go. So, you know, this is looking pretty good, but here is where the problems lie. Look right down in there. I don't know if you can see it very well on camera, but that's a fault line, you see? That is because of this extension. The wood settled after I cut it, and it, you can see that the lighthouse, like I said earlier, is going downhill. Again, other extensions that I did that didn't go right are like these. But that is why we have to do what we have to do. But this is what the town looks like, completely stripped. Now let's continue stripping. Let's get out the train tracks and start taking out the buildings one by one. Okay, everybody, I'm hot, I'm sweaty, and let me show you what I got. And then we're going to go throw the pickaxe, because you guys have earned that right to me to smash a table with a pickaxe. This is the mess. Everything from over here all needs to go into the trash. We have big dump day every other week, and this is the week that we have dump day. Here is a lot of the Lego City. Just all laid out, train tracks, all that good stuff, trees. But take a look at my house. Anybody want the joy of having a Lego house? <laughs> you got modulars over here, modulars over here. This is where I'm supposed to eat breakfast every morning. Not tomorrow. And we got modulars over here. I do want to end, end you guys out with a little sneak peek of the next video. I don't know when it's coming out, but here's your sneak peek. That is the foundation of the new LEGO City. Holy smokes. Wow. I cannot believe that I never did this to begin with. That is going to be one hell of a, a city. And in case anybody's wondering how strong these tables are, well, let me tell you, my cat kicked one over because they were on, on their side. And they didn't budge an inch. So they're pretty strong. But yeah, take a look down there. Look at all those legs, if, if it's not all blurred out. So much legs and tables. But I've stalled long enough. Pickaxe time. In case anybody's wondering, why is it this one table? Well, I'm going to tell you. It's because I tried to crawl on these tables to work in the amusement park. This table right here. And the internal structure of this table is destroyed. So the other ones I could put out on the street and somebody will take them and make good use out of them. But this one, I don't want no one taking because it's structurally compromised. That's why we're destroying this one. Here we go. Let's put a water bottle on there for dramatic effect. One, two, and three. Like I said, structurally compromised but also very cheap. And that's why we had to get rid of these tables. And on that bombshell, if you guys want to donate to the Chaos Madness and maybe more pickaxe throwing, just kidding, you can hit the thanks button down below. Like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate everybody for watching. I hope that finale was worth the wait. And y'all have a good one. <laughs>